Hi and welcome to 5 Minutes with Codica. Codica is an online tool uh, that lets you make mobile web apps really quickly using jQuery mobile. So let's give it a whirl. Once you sign up for Codica, Codica provides a 30-day trial. You want to create a new project. In this case, I'm going to create a new project for D the D School, the Stanford Design School. I know that the Design School doesn't currently have a mobile web page, so I'm going to try and create a simple one for them. The components to your left and the pages define what pages you have in your web app, while this tool on the right gives you additional details about each particular page. So for example, if I start dragging a header, I can get a header that says, um, uh, I can provide whatever uh, defaults um, that I'd like to give in terms of the color. And in this case, I'm going to say, welcome to the D school. Now, certain parts of that are going to get uh, cut off. Um, so unfortunately, we have to uh, rename that, for example, as just simply the D school. I'd like to put in an image. Uh, the image I have in mind is from the D school website itself. It's resized to be 280 pixels or so, so that it fits nicely on the uh, page. I'm going to create a couple pages or links to other pages. In this case, I'm going to create one that brings me to a uh, map or directions to the school. So in this case, since I don't have an additional page, I'm going to create a new page. And this page is going to, going to be called directions. And on that page, I'm going to add a header, just like before. I'm going to forget about styling for now. I'm going to create a map. The map is going to be st centered on Stanford, California, and I'm also going to call it Stanford, California. Now we have a marker. One thing that you'll notice is that it's really hard, easy to get lost in your navigation, so I'm going to be mindful of that and add a back button. The back button is going to go back in history, and it's going to say back. Let's go back to our original page, the home page. Remember, we were trying to create directions to the new page. So if you click on that and say link to the page directions, we should have that linking there. Um, I urge you to play around with it. Um, there are additional things that you can um, insert, uh, search, text inputs, and the like. Um, what we're going to do, I'm, I'm going to add just one more button that says um, classes. And this you can fill out to bring you to a page that brings you to classes. Um, you'll notice that the divider is what uh, is the heading right here. And once you're happy with what you have, you can go and preview it and see and interact with it as you see fit. So it looks like it were, it's basically working. Once we're done with that and we're happy, you'll notice that all changes are saved as you make those changes. We can now download the HTML. And um, I'm going to upload all of my code into a folder that I have online. You can do this with Dropbox relatively easy, but in this case, I'm actually going to put it on a domain that I have called hciclass.com. The app is called uh, Codica App. I have a previous one. I'm just going to copy all of the files and drag them over. And now if I go to hciclass.com, you'll notice that it was saved as app.html. So if I hit app, you'll notice that in the app that you have is the web app that you just designed. And as uh, it's online, you can pull it up on any mobile device and uh, navigate to the same URL and interact in the same way. So for example, I'm going to type in hciclass.com slash app.html. And in this case, we have ourselves in less than five minutes a complete web app.